Benjamin's misperversion in prisons, the problems of American shootouts and the European and American politics in the 21st century, 2023. When we take apart all the current problems of the market, and also though we have to understand that some things that used to be told in the Congress and some things that used to be uh, said, uh, like for example the replicating of organs or the replicating of food has been out. So we now see that uh, these positive undertakings that we are going to probably very soon have the replicating of organs, which is going to probably in the future push uh, organ blood rate into subliminal levels that is going to push all the blood rate of organs aside. And uh, we can now understand that these positive things are going to bring us into the future, into the 21st century. Plus, for example, the creation of uh, the battery system for cars seems to be after the resources with some pause, with some or look uh, after the year seems to be very positive and we now see that uh, the car industry on battery has a future also just solar energy and now also we can say that why couldn't we for example build hoverboards for children that we are going to put a battery into a board a skateboard and we are going to normally fly we could theoretically fly on highways, just as Donald Trump later on put on, that we can build uh, self sustaining cities and uh, we can have a second line above the air for cars. And the whole industry seems to be getting into a swerve, and we slowly see that uh, many things are getting into a swerve. And also in terms of the market, uh, the market should also soon get into this curve and we have these paper generators and uh, paper letters, bitcoin letters, and most of these gadgets do not work because they are absolutely either blocked from uh, the internet doesn't work, it's not interconnected because it's all blocked. We should connect all of the system and uh, we should just also by connecting the system together, we should avoid blackmail and spam. And all these things should work out for and we are going to enter a different century. And I sincerely hope that Mr. Vladimir Putin is soon going to realize the positive prognosis stemming from uh, turning uh, positively into the 21st century. And so I hope that we are going to see uh, the war in Ukraine subside. And generally, I think that people should be looking forward for nice weather and swimming and should look forward to generally positive things because the war seems to be almost like in the religious on the side of very nice and doesn't seem to lead to any logical betterment of any type of situation because it's only blocking the international market and seems to be like doesn't seem to have any positive ramifications for anybody. For example, uh, the uh, earthquakes in Syria and Turkey were very powerful and 
just imagine that both of the countries have been stricken by terror and war for so many decades. And now it seems that the SSP Tower started to sense with the dear ways that so many casualties and unnecessary spending of lives, innocent lives, seems to be bringing into understanding and uh, seems to be bringing very positive force for health and general subsidy that we should all look into the future with positive undertaking and should understand that people should a little bit enjoy the old number that used to last between the Czech Republic and America, preferably New York and the and the resources. And also in terms of the Latinska, like, why couldn't we build resources skyscrapers with beer gardens to build up the whole Latinska brain uh, for huge beer gardens and uh, cheap uh, tourist uh, pioneer hotels like a lot of cycles to for 20 euro a night or something that people would come and accommodate themselves and enjoy, uh, enjoy the hub up of the center of Prague. Plus, uh, uh, basically, a uh, bus station and a uh, bus station that can bus that can take you to France or Brussels or Germany. And all these positive things are very conclusive in terms of bettering the whole general overall situation that we are going to have things to look forward and things to look on to and Generally, I think that the mood in family should rise and we should be a little bit better together and understand how to cope with daily situations, like for example, with science of Trough, who is getting older, the problem of the Kundalini process investigation by Bonnie Greenwell, and we have to understand the positive things that all these people have brought us in the past, and to you, we have to understand that these people are getting older and should be exchanged by people who not only can fill up sufficiently the places for them, but in fact bring us something new and even more positive for the 21st century. That uh, I personally see psychiatry and psychology as a positive, very positive uh, conglomeration that is going to solve your personal problems and possibility of changing your name and possibility of helping the whole family understand problems of the uh, peer and uh, much greater financial backing which should probably spring from the paper generators and Bitcoin address. In generally, the paper generators could be enlarged into huge subsidiary websites and subsidiary bank links that would further enhance the capacity of the Bureau and reinforce the Bureau in France, Czech Republic, and Germany, and the whole Europe and America. And I would also like here to express myself to the problems of American current uh, problems that, that America seems to be facing for the last 10 years. These incredible shootouts and atrocities that have been happening in America seem to be so terrifying and so sad that these things are happening, like the shootouts at schools and Nobody seems to be really understanding why this is happening. For what reason uh, so much terror and so much hatred from the side of such young people that it seem to be 
still eluding understanding and going unresolved, <coughs> the deeper should begin to generally understand the problems of the younger generation and we should learn for what is ailing them. And just as Dalai Lama seems to be a very positive person for these things, spreading peace along the Jane all over the world. So why do we at the same time face these problems on the, on the overturn of the third millennia? Why do we face these problems that I think we should a little bit go down the down road and path and a little bit get on our feet and on firm ground? And we should a little bit understand the simplicity of, for example, the relationship of the Czech Republic and America, let's say, in the 70s and let's say, James Archer, or for example, Mr. and Mrs. King. Oh, Mrs. King was famous in uh, talking of resources about the discernment. How everybody during the time seemed to be in the Czech Republic or Europe, generally in America. How oh, the friendship that lasts and we should all get together and understand the positive prognosis which these people have brought us in the past and we should enlarge our capacity to be able to link our work to these people and carry on in the heritage of all these people. And as in the Tibetan medicine, which used to be in the and is there any more for no reason whatsoever, it doesn't work anymore. All these things well, obviously, maybe thanks to the Dalai Lama's presence in the Czech Republic and the trade from uh, the trade from the Himalayas and the Tibet into the Czech Republic seem to be a little bit taken behind. And also, as I said, for example, the cancer problem that America is sending the and the radioactive pills, which seems to be a little bit more positive because the Czech Republic cannot treat cancer so effectively as America now, although still generally seems to be a problem with cancer that seems to be still all over the world a big problem for the treatment of such disease. And I can tell you that the macrobiotic disease, the macrobiotic cuisine can, to a certain extent, uh, help much, if more efficiently, in terms of stopping the metastasis and stopping uh, the enlarging of the nodules. And uh, seems to be very recommended by my person the microbiotic cuisine. And generally also I think that the problem seems to be, for example, with such a slow uptake of new things and alternative ways of living that we have only California now that still kind of survives in terms of holding up the alternative culture in the whole America, in Europe, and it doesn't seem to be sufficient, like for example the heritage of George Harrison or Yavon and uh, John Lennon and other people who seem to be uh, used to uphold this, this type of culture have brought in the 60s so much positive undertaking and so much many positive things for the 20th century and uh, it's a big problem that uh, the world currently faces any type of similar personages who would be able to enrich the world for such a positive things which at the same time I don't mean like I don't mean like uh, strikes or 
anything like this older and younger generation but, but, but simply uh, going for the business and going for the job and trying to find a solution trying to find the best inside of you in coming up with some new inventions and patents and coming up with new things that could enrich the society for the general prosperity and that's about all from me for now and I wish you just a very good time and so far Benjamin Johnson is a super